VLatch is a brand new feature that is available on the Maximus Apex and Maximus Extreme motherboards. It allows enthusiasts to know the true Vmin and Vmax of the CPU vCore without having to purchase a very expensive oscilloscope. Trying to explain how VLatch works exactly can get complicated very quickly, but I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. In one of my previous videos, I talked about Intel Adaptive Voltage Mode. In that video, I showed this drawing to explain how the CPU and motherboard VRM interact to provide a certain voltage. There are three basic steps. One, the motherboard communicates about its board design to the CPU via the AC-DC load line. Two, the CPU requests a certain voltage by using a VID, which is a combination of the factory-defined VF curve and the AC-DC load line. Three, the voltage provided by the motherboard VRM is the requested voltage minus any adjustments by the VRM load line. It's the VRM load line that many enthusiasts wish to have control over when trying to find the maximum stable settings. There are two parts of the load line that are important to system stability. First, the V-droop. This is the decrease in voltage when the CPU goes from idle to load. Obviously, you want your CPU to be stable in all scenarios, so knowing what's the lowest voltage the CPU will run at is very important. After all, if the voltage is too low, then the overclock will be unstable. Second, the undershoot and overshoot. These are very brief voltage spikes that occur when the CPU switches from idle to load or from load to idle. These voltage spikes cannot be measured easily and usually require an expensive oscilloscope to detect. I can highly recommend Elmore Lab's article titled VRM Load Line Visualized if you want to see a great picture of undershoot and overshoot in action. While undershoot and overshoot are very temporary spikes, an undershoot that's too low will also cause instability. With VLatch, you can now detect the undershoot and overshoot. On the Maximus 13 Extreme and Maximus 13 Apex, there's a proprietary circuit design that allows the embedded controller to capture and report the true Vmin and Vmax. You can use either hardware info or the OLED display to see these voltages. If you want to use the VLatch feature to figure out which is the best load line for your system, I suggest using the following procedure. First, we must configure the system such that the frequency behavior is dynamic yet controllable. To do this, we unlock the turbo boost power limits of our 11900K CPU, as this will force the CPU to run between 4.8 and 5.3 GHz. We disable AVX2 and AVX512, as this will prevent a high temperature from causing frequency throttling. We disable ring down bin as this will ensure a consistent CPU ring frequency. We set the max ring to 40x to force the ring frequency at 4 GHz. Then we set the CPU to use adaptive voltage mode. Lastly, we change the VRM load line calibration setting in the DG Plus VRM submenu. In the operating system, we do the following. Open hardware info to lock the information. Start SuperPi32M to run in the background. This will ensure that there's always minimum one core active and prevent the VLATCH from reporting the minimum voltage when all cores are idle, which would be around 0.6 volts. Run one loop of ROG RealBench, which will take about nine minutes. When done, export the CSV data into Excel and highlight the following information, VLATCH min and max and vCore min and max. Then calculate the undershoot as the difference between VLATCH min and vCore min, and calculate the overshoot as the difference between vCore max and VLATCH max. To find the optimal load line setting, compare the sum of undershoot and overshoot across all load lines. Then after about two hours of testing, pour yourself a glass of whiskey and cry over the fact that, yeah, the setting that you figure out it should be used is the one that ACES already recommended in the BIOS.